What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and I'm back with another Raise Buckle review. And this is the DX Power Builder Buckle and Gigant Buckle with the Common Rider Seeker ID Core. And if you don't know who Seeker is, who is this cool looking deer man right here he is um our movie writer for when he teamed up with geats on the side it says uh power builder buckle and gigan buckle set got seeker up here got geats over here because geats used it in the show so we're gonna show that off probably still aren't gonna switch the id core because it don't matter it comes with all of this stuff it technically comes with five buckles so that's kind of neat shows you you can do this it shows you you can do that it says you can do the secret transformation stuff and then you can do that or you can do all of this stuff and it tells you all the stuff you can do you can even use the small buckles show that off in a little bit overall i think this is a really cool buckle i've already been messing with it it's so cool like this is probably one of my favorite buckles now so yeah uh let's get hit in here and we'll you know see what it does in desire driver and here's what was all in the box we have the seeker id core which i really do like i think this looks really good it has the standard mold has a little bit of a fingerprint magnet so uh you know just wipe that off a little bit yeah you know it's nice reflective paint oh i bumped my microphone uh we get the desire driver it looks pretty good it lights up really well it kind of makes again it really gets real out through really clearly um even though it's kind of opaque and uh, let's take a look at the Gigant buckle first, which is a buckle that holds three other buckles. And it is number 77. And if you remember 77, it's just the great sound. So, yeah. And uh, we'll take a look at these other buckles in a second. But yeah, no buttons, no ways to press down. This is just kind of a way to make the great buckle. Um, and then we have the sword, which... Uh, looks interesting to say the least uh has the arrows but no buttons obviously you got all the rails which is also 77 and we look at the blaster which looks pretty cool and uh it's also 77 and you got this one you got the hammer which is also 77 so they all have the same rails and if you're gonna if you're gonna guess what kind of rails this one has you're right this is exactly like the jackpot uh, jackpot buckle no the fever slot buckle in the command twin buckle where it just tells the belt to shut up and let it talk so yeah there's really not a whole lot to to do it with other buckles but the functionality in it is really cool like i'm not gonna lie it's kind of it's, it's really cool so let's start off uh using these in the desire driver like i'm only gonna show it off with these two and as you can see there's no button there's no way you can use it. So I'm going to use my handy dandy tool called my finger and just uh, see that button right there? You press it. So yeah. Also, I will not be bringing in the Magnum Shooter for this video because they're all going to make the same sound in the Magnum Shooter. Like, all, like even this one's going to make the same sound. Like it's there's no point so yeah there is that so let's do the seeker transformation
Oh. And what you just saw was a common problem I've been seeing people have where, for whatever reason, these uh, little claw clamp pieces are just flying off. Mine on the top has not flown off ever, but this bottom one just kind of randomly does it. It's not every time and you can just clip it like right back on, so it's not a big deal. You can put it back. It's not broken. But like for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just like the sheer force of like the spring just like making it just be too much and then like resistance and flies towards you but apparently a lot of people have been having that problem it's not even like a big problem but yeah no i love that it looks like it's like clamping down on the uh id core i think that's really cool which i'm realizing i never took a good look at this so let's do the attack You can do the charge up sound. So, let's take a bigger, closer look at this buckle. I think that's got the construction part. So, yeah. I think it looks really cool. You got the lever, got all these buttons, which I will show off in a little bit. You got all this stuff. You got this clear yellow rail, which is number 70. Four, I think. Here, wait, I can't. The, the plastic's a little too clear. Yeah, it's 74. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you could do. These are buttons are what are compressed. So, yeah, if we want to also load a weapon in, let's let's use the sword. And we wanted to transform with it. And this is jamming. Press this back. And if we want to use this as an opportunity to, you press the little button back here. You can, you don't even have to like take this off to, uh, to have it like read the buckles. You can do it while it's still attached. So, while it's still attached and you want to press the hammer down in there. Get this, uh... There you go. You got the geek app strike. And we can go ahead and use blaster. And I think it's really cool that you don't have to unplug it to have it to be able to change them out. And it's cool that you can use more than just like the buckles applied. And when I first saw pictures of it, I was kind of fearing that's what it would be because I was be like, oh, I wish you could just slap all of slap all of them on there. But obviously this isn't a reader. So when we get the bigger buckles, let's uh, bring in propeller. Yep. Plug it in. It says Gigant Arms. Get 
give that a little bit of a charge sound. And it doesn't matter what kind of buckle you use, I'll bring in the Zero One buckle. It's always going to say Gigant Arms no matter what. So yeah, that's that. They will always read these these buckles as Gigant Arms, but I was kind of messing around because you can just kind of press these pins down, and there are some other sounds, so I'm not sure how we're going to be getting these buckles, but there is a Gigant Shooter sound. And I'm not going to go full, fully all the way through these in case they're ever released, and because I don't want to ruin that video. But it also has we got the dueler. and a breaker. So I don't know if we're going to get another three pack of like these little buckles, or if they're going to be full sized. They just have to make sure they like divot the holes so it can make sure it press these press these pin combinations so it's not going to be that difficult so i'm wondering if we're going to get like a three pack whether it be premium bandai that are going to have um those three buckles so it has a ton of sounds in here and that's not even all of them but let's do it with a let's do what we saw in the, like the episode we got to see this in the show which was 17 i want to say let's do that all right, sorry for the awkward cut, but let's use it with boost. Just imagine this is the Geats ID core. Don't even get to hear the boost jingle. Boost time. See, it just adds that hyper sound. Just kind of adds that hyper sound and the. Uh, And that's kind of it for the uh, boost buckle with it. There's that it just kind of does the hyper sound. But just in, for another example, we got ninja. See, now it's just hyper. I'll wait for it to quiet. Um, I don't know what just happened there, but, like, that was really weird. Um, but yeah, no, it just really does hyper with any other buckles. Like, there's no point in showing what other buckles there are. 
with it. But there's one other little thing that you can do. And just so we can do the proper configuration and use the gigant buckle. Um, there's one other functionality where you can get alternate final attacks. But if you put a buckle in right away, like you do it, you do the transformation, you do it before the transformation, you put a buckle in and it says creation. But if you put it in without putting a another buckle in here, and then you start putting buckles in, you can start stacking them. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So. And just to show off. Got the same Gigant Strike. We'll start off with Blaster, because I feel like just get Blaster out of the way. By the way, there is no buttons over here to press anything, so this is just kind of here for decoration and look. And the voice is slightly different when it's when it's um in this configuration as well, where it's like it has a lot more of like that auto tune like blaster instead of just being like gigant blaster like or whatever. And let's say we put in, and also it will do the gigant strike again, like it don't matter. And if we put in hammer, hybrid. it says hybrid, and the. So yeah, then it says hybrid, and now if you do a, an attack, it's got the Gigant Victory. And now if you, and these are super easy to plug back in, and you just use the sword, you get All Might. So, it now says, uh, Gigant Almighty, because I think this is meant to be, because, like, you can use, it has, like, the, the Power Builder buckle armor gives you, like, multiple arms, so it's like, I think it's supposed to be something like that. I think that's what it's supposed to mean, but if you do an attack, you get Gigant Finisher. Which, that is really cool. Like, this is a a really cool buckle, and there's really nothing else to show. Like, like that was, it's just, has a ton of functionality in on its own that is really cool. And I can't wait to get those other three buckles, because that's going to be as well. Because you don't need to use these three necessarily to stack to get to the almighty sound. As long as you use three buckles after doing the initial transformation within the driver it'll still stack and just go into hybrid and almighty like it doesn't need to be these three specifically so honestly i think from a play wise i think this is really cool and really fun i love that it has like a charging attack sound back to doing the gigant strike but like i love how it looks like it's grabbing the 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 ID core, like, it just, it looks fun aesthetically wise. Yeah, maybe I would change this out for something else because this just kind of feels like something to hold them. But overall, I think this is a really cool set. I can highly recommend it. It's also really rare when we get movie writer, like, merch. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, that's usually premium Bandai. And this is retail, but it was also in the show used by Geats, so it makes sense why. But either way, I think this is really cool. I can highly recommend it. If you can find it, if you're also an ID nut like me, I, I, I'll take as many ID cores as they'll give me. And yes, I bought that one premium set. I need more ID cores, even though they do do anything. But I need them because they're neat to have. 
but overall i really do like it what do you guys think what do you guys think of the seeker in general i think his suit looks awesome i haven't seen the movie yet um i don't know are there subs out of it yet i haven't seen any but overall i really do like the look of of the seeker buckle of like not the seeker buckle but the power builder buckle and the seeker id core this is cool i love its functionality so much it's so cool and honestly this might be one of my favorite buckles in the line so far like i know it's new so it's like i'm not trying to look at it but like oh it's pretty because it's new like this is legitimately just functionality wise i think a ton of fun and like i can see myself messing with this like over and over again just like just to like you know mess with a buckle so yeah what do you, you know leave your guys' thoughts down in the comments so Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until whatever I do next, bye.